I want to tell you what to do. Heaven forbid you end up in this situation. Number one, I told you, do not bathe or change your clothes. Number two, do not consume alcohol because this this might alter the outcome of your medical examination and you would also need to make a statement. Number three, contact a friend or a member of your family. It may be hard. You don't want to have to tell a family member or a friend what has happened to you, but you will need them at least for comfort once you go to the hospital or to the police station. Number four, you have to go and see a doctor as soon as possible. So it is recommended that you visit the nearest clinic, hospital or doctor first and mm -hmm. you go there with your family member, right? And then number five, when you're dealing with the police, because now after you've seen the doctor, you have to deal with the police. Um, make sure you record a statement and you read over the statement before signing it. Mm -hmm. Now, when you're at the police station, if you're feeling uncomfortable saying what has happened to you over there at the reception, ask for a private room or ask for a female officer who you can speak to. Now, during your medical examination, try and remember as many details as possible and tell this to the doctor who's examining you. The doctor will complete a rape kit. This mm -hmm. includes taking note of any injuries, scrapings under your fingernails, evidence of sperm from your vagina and looking for possible DNA. This is the reason why you should not shower. And another very important thing, HIV. It is very important to get antiretrovirals within 72 hours of penetration, attempted penetration or... Um, or rape because you most of the time you may not know who the perpetrator is so you may not know if they're infected or not then there's stds and pregnancy mm -hmm. so during the first doctor's examination you may need to take in quite a lot of medication including stds and p2s to prevent you from getting um a, a child and then there's the forensic evidence and doctors may ask for your clothes and other evidence which will be sealed in a bag not a plastic bag mm -hmm. this is then given to the hospital if you're unhappy with the investigation be sure to complain to the station or to a different police station and above all if this and usually this never sits pretty with anybody there's nobody who goes through this kind of trauma and just wakes up the next morning and life goes on please get help mm -hmm. be it rape trauma because of rape trauma syndrome try and visit your nearest psychiatrist or a person who's speaking to gives you some sort of comfort